I mean, the lows were low during the regular season, and I think that battle tested this group. We just saw Drake take a jump shot. I mean, he didn't even draw iron. Yeah. But can we give, I mean, look. <laughs> The Drake-Kentucky relationship is something that has really fascinated me over the years. It's not often that you see a celebrity obsess over a college basketball team quite like Drake has with Kentucky. And as a massive college basketball fan, this is something that I always loved over the years because having that representation, even though it's Drake, still goes to show that college basketball has a big impact on pop culture. Now, this is a relationship that has had its memeable moments. Obviously, you are well aware of this iconic image of Drake in the Kentucky locker room before Big Blue Madness, back at the start of the 2015 season. And Drake has had a lot of Kentucky moments throughout his life. But in the past few years, the relationship between Drake and Kentucky has gone kind of silent. After last appearing at Big Blue Madness in 2017, I'm pretty sure the only thing that I could find about Drake and Kentucky since then was in 2022, when he posted this selfie on Instagram. And after that, we have not heard anything about Drake and Kentucky until this past summer. Because last month, when Kentucky was up in Canada for the 2023 Global Jam Showcase Tournament, Drake invited Kentucky Kentucky to his mansion. So now we know that the relationship is back on. All right, we're at Drake's relaxing. Really wish you were with us. Is that a hotel? Oh my gosh. But I wanted to go back in time and explain this weird relationship because it certainly has had some very funny moments. Now for me, I went back and looked at the Drake Kentucky relationship and I found a very unhealthy amount of photos of Drake and Kentucky gear. Like this used to be a pretty big deal. And I have not seen a celebrity that did not go to this school or he's not even from the state of Kentucky support a team like this. Now you may be wondering, why did this relationship even start? Well, despite being born and raised in Canada, Drake's father and a lot of his family lived in Memphis, Tennessee. And that's where he spent his summers, and John Calipari was the head coach at Memphis from 2000 to 2009. So that's when the relationship started. And when Coach Cal took over at Kentucky in 2009, Drake was actually a guest coach during Big Blue Madness, their first one they had with Coach Cal. And if you've seen the music video for Best I've Ever Had, Drake was a basketball coach in that, so Coach Cal wanted him to show off some of those skills. Now, Drake was a huge supporter during the 2009-2010 season when they had John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins. Actually, Drake legit stood side by side with DeMarcus Cousins post game, and you honestly would have thought he was on the team. <laughs> now, when those guys left, Drake was still a supporter of the team, and he would once again return to coach the alumni game in 2012. Also in 2012, when Kentucky would go on to win the national championship game, Drake was literally given a national championship ring after this. Yes, Coach Cal gave him a championship ring. Now, to get a championship ring, that is a bit crazy, but I actually didn't realize how personal the relationship between Drake and John Calipari was, because it turns out that John Calipari inspired Drake a little bit more than I had realized. Kentucky is has given me like a like a, a, a real home. You know, I actually um I, I actually dropped out of high school, which I don't know if a lot of people know that, but I dropped out of high school. I never really got like a great school experience. And um, when Coach Cal, you know, asked me to come here um, for the first Midnight Madness, it just really gave me a sense of like, you know, it gave me a sense of school, a sense of love, a sense of belonging to something. You know, that's why I feel like I belong to the UK family, and that's why I'm graduating high school this month, actually. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely inspired by UK. And Drake was not joking about this, because in October of 2012, Drake graduated high school at the age of 25, 10 years after dropping out, and the man went on first take and admitted that Coach Cal flew to Toronto and attended his high school graduation. I, I went back to high school recently and graduated. Coach Cal actually flew to Toronto, wow. came to my high school graduation, wow. which was like one of the best moments of my life. I mean, out of anybody, no one else came, just Coach Cal. Drake in 2013 would also narrate Bluegrass Kingdom, the gospel of Kentucky basketball. He legit did the voiceover for the whole thing. The University of Kentucky is considered among the greatest college basketball programs of all time. The Wildcats have captured eight national championships and won more games than any college team in history. So this relationship was at an all-time high, but it gets even higher because in 2014, Drake would give a locker room speech after beating Wisconsin in the Final Four. It's one of the strongest years we've had, for real, at this point. Cal will tell you, man, I know. I already know what's on everybody's mind, so trophy. Like, <laughs> trophy, trophy. <laughs> I don't know, Drake, jump in there with those guys. I think you'll get a picture right now. 
<laughs> yeah, they want to fix it. <laughs> and then we can skip ahead to the 2014-15 season. And this is really when we saw the peak of this relationship. In October of 2014, Drake attended Big Blue Madness. And this team was obviously going to end up being, in my opinion, maybe the greatest college basketball team I've ever seen. Despite not winning a national championship, they did go undefeated that season until they lost to Wisconsin in the Final Four. But again, before all of that, Drake attended Big Blue Madness and he walked out. He airballed a three. It was hilarious. He also sat in the locker room. You obviously know this image. But now it was time for Drake to return the favor because Coach Cal had given him a lot. So Drake gave back by featuring Kentucky in two of his songs. In 2015 scholarships, Drake said that he rocked Kentucky Blue. I rock Kentucky Blue. And he would once again feature Kentucky, this time shouting out Coach Cal in 2017. And his song Can't Have Everything on More Life started out doing college shows Calipari Flow. Doing college shows Calipari Flow. And then he also attended the Big Blue Madness for that season when he walked out in a Kentucky Dad sweatshirt. What's going on everybody? My name is Drake. First and foremost, I'd like to introduce myself. I was here a long time ago. I think it was 2009 when, when Coach first brought me out here. It was one of the best experiences of my life. You know, this family right here. You know, people ask me, um, people ask me like, it's so many madnesses going on and so many different events. Why don't you go anywhere else? And I tell them I'm a wildcat through and through and there's only one big blue, baby, you know? And I'm pretty sure this was the last time we saw Drake at Kentucky. Because during Big Blue Madness, he promised a free concert that he never ended up fulfilling. Coach, you have to make it happen for me. This is the only favor I ask. And I want everybody to witness this. I just ask that before the school year is over, you allow me to come into this building and do a free show for all the students. Just one. That's it. And it's something that fans have been asking for ever since he promised this because he never came through. And this was the last documented appearance I've seen of Drake at Kentucky. And ever since 2017, most people thought the relationship was over. We can officially confirm that the relationship is back on because Drake invited the Kentucky basketball team to his mansion in Toronto while Kentucky was up in Toronto to represent the United States in the 2023 Global Jam Showcase Tournament. Now this was very exciting news. And this has been a very big off season for Kentucky basketball. And who knows, maybe Maybe we will see Drake at Big Blue Madness this year. I certainly hope we do. This is a relationship that I personally have loved following over the years, and it's provided some very funny moments, and I think that we are in store for a few more now that we know that this relationship is back on. I know some people might think that there is a Drake curse, but again, in his time of liking Kentucky basketball, they did end up winning a championship in 2012 because he has a ring to show for it, and with the Raptors winning the 2019 NBA Finals, the Drake curse, despite some saying that it's still a thing, I'm of the belief that it is over. So that is the documented history between Drake and Kentucky. It is certainly a fun thing that we have seen in college basketball over the years, and I am glad after a long hiatus to know that it is officially not over. And I hope to see Drake at some Kentucky games going forward. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Peace. The Kentucky basketball program, honestly, is something else that I can say. And I mean, you know this. I don't know how many people know this. I try and say it as much as I can because I mean it from the bottom of my heart. But you're one of my most iconic mentors in my life, period. Coming to Lexington and seeing the basketball program, start thinking about my own life and the fact that that was something that was missing in my life. And I started thinking about education and how important it is to be motivated, you know, to be inspired and to feel loved. Because when I came to Lexington and I met you, you know, I didn't want to leave. I, I, I would have probably traded my life at that moment to like play Kentucky basketball. My goal was just to be able to say that I was eligible for, you know, some form of uh, <laughs> acceptance to Kentucky. That was my goal. You know, I and, always, and you are, yeah, exactly. and you are, you know, that. Yeah, know. you have a lifetime, you've got the lifetime scholarship that my players <laughs> yeah, have. You can always come back. Uh, thank you, coach. I appreciate it. You know, anything for you and thank you for everything you've done for me. You, you shaped my life and set me, set me even further in the right direction. So uh, I'm forever grateful. And like I said, I'm, I'm always here for you anytime, anywhere.